Welcome to my channel, Journey of the World with Sergo. Today I will tell you about Niagara Falls, which is included in the list of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world. Despite being only 130 kilometers from Toronto, Niagara Falls is regarded as the city's top natural attraction. One of the most incredible and beautiful waterfalls in the world is Niagara. Although it started in the United States, Canada has the most breathtaking views. When you're standing near the waterfall itself, you can't hear anything at all because the sound of roaring water can be heard for miles in all directions. At night, it sounds extremely terrifying. Its name means rumbling water in Native American. The name of the nearby Iroquois village, Anyara, which means split land, is where the word Niagara is said to have originated. Native American folklore from long ago. According to one version, the little girl Lella Valley's father chose to arrange for her marriage to the guy who detested her. The girl then made the decision to offer her true love as a sacrifice to the cave-dwelling god he know. She paddled her canoe directly into the powerful water's torrent before collapsing and falling to the ground, where her beloved caught her. On the Niagara River, there are really three waterfalls that share the same name. Tourists are delighted by two of them, while the third is the purview of the electric power sector. The energy produced by the falls has been lighting up various communities since 1881. The power plant currently generates 4.4 gigawatts. Bright rainbows are created when sunlight refracts through a cloud of water spray in sunny conditions. Typically, there are multiple rainbows that are nested inside one another. Any waterfall, including Niagara Falls, has a radically diverse appearance depending on the season. Huge icicles that are hanging down in the wintertime provide an incredible fairy tale scene for visitors. During the ice drift in the spring, there is a ice fight. Huge chunks of ice that resemble icebergs fall and plunge into its depths with a tremendous scream. Approximately 20 million tourists visit the spectacular waterfall each year. Many of Toronto's eateries and hotels, as well as suspension bridges and observation towers, have been constructed throughout the region. One of the biggest zoos in North America, the Toronto Zoo, also has a minor waterfall that can be enjoyed. Interesting statistics, the Rainbow Bridge and the Whirlpool Rapids Bridge, both of which are utilized by vehicles, span this cascade. 20% of the drinking water in America passes through Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls has been conquered by many. Sam Patch was the first person to survive a jump into the Falls Canyon, which happened in 1829. A Michigan educator who was tossed into the falls in a barrel in 1901 also survived, but she sustained injuries. The French rope walker Charles Blondin's decision to use a rope to cross the gorge, however, is still the most intriguing case. The rope was 50 meters above the ocean and 335 meters long. This stuntman has performed multiple times, in 1859, and each time in a new variation, on stilts, with his nose on the shoulders of a man, his manager, Harry Calcord, in a sack, dragging a wheelbarrow, blindfolded, and while making and eating an omelet while seated in the middle. The Maid of the Mist Cruise is the most well-known and historic form of tourism at the falls. The opportunity to pass directly beneath the waves of the falls is provided by this cruise. It is shared by two countries, Canada and the United States, and citizens of both countries have access to it from their side. The volume of water that Niagara Falls spurts down depends on the season and the amount of rainfall but it often exceeds 5,700 cubic meters per second. The height of Niagara is relatively modest, only 53 meters, of which only 21 meters can be seen, as a larger view is obstructed by rocks. 
In comparison, Angel Falls in Venezuela, the highest in the world, is 1,054 meters high. Under Niagara Falls, enterprising local authorities have built several power plants that use its energy. Most tourists agree that the view from the Canadian side is more spectacular than the American side. The horseshoe-shaped Niagara consists, strictly speaking, of three separate waterfalls, one of which is 323 meters wide and the other as much as 792 meters. The third, on the other hand, is small. Just a couple of hundred meters further downstream, beyond Niagara Falls, there is a bridge across the river that is used by cars and pedestrians. Scientists have found that the falls are very young by geological standards. Their age is only about 6,000 years. It got its name after the Niagara River. However, sometimes the waterfall itself is also called by this word. A little less than 11,000 years ago Niagara Falls already existed, but in a different place. As a result of soil erosion it moved to where it is now. In the early 19th century it was visited by Napoleon Bonaparte's brother. The energy of Niagara Falls locals began to use as early as the mid-18th century. It powered the machinery of tanneries, sawmills, and mills. Thank you for listening to the end, dear viewers and listeners of my channel. Subscribe and like, I'm glad to try for all of you.